Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Token Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Nerf Zombie Strike Side Strike. Um, first of all, this is probably one of the, uh, the first gun that actually comes with a holster. They did come out with one of the Nerf Rebel guns that uh, did come with the holster, but this is the first so far. Um, what's nice about this gun is it's a very small pistol. It kind of reminds me of the Fire Strike uh, in size. Uh, so I really like this gun. It's kind of nice because it has uh, the top the top cock instead of the you know the pullback that they normally use. Um, what I really like about this gun is it comes with a nice holster. Uh, this holster can hold up to four rounds in it, uh, just in the sides right here. And what's nice about this holster is that it can uh, it can either go on your belt loop uh, and you can put it on your pocket, but it's mostly for, meant for a belt loop. Uh, and it's nice because this is ambidextrous. You can put it this way or uh, this way. So you can have either side to make a uh, cross pull with your right hand or a quick draw with your left hand. Uh, either way works. Um, another part about this gun is it comes with six rounds in ammo while this gun can hold seven. Uh, as you see here, the four in the holster and the three in the gun even only comes with six. What I like about this gun is it has the nice sights. Normally Nerf does not uh, come with, uh, Nerf guns do not come with good sights. They normally just come with one front sight. This one does come with the back sight. Even though when you do aim with the sights, it will go shoot down. Um, but it's kind of nice because you can aim side to side very well and you can kind of know if you're going to aim up, up or down much. Uh, it does come with one railing on the bottom. Uh, it also does not have any sling adapters. That is mostly because it comes with the holster, so you can just keep it on your side. So now for the functioning of this gun. Basically how it works, you prime the gun by cocking it back and let it forwards. It does have the part where you, when you let it go on the back, it uh, kind of slides forward automatically. You put the dart in and you pull the trigger. Um, you can put the dart in first and then prime it. It works the same way, uh, no difference. Uh, one thing about this gun is that with priming, when you uh, prime it backwards, it seems to like not be oiled or something because it seems to uh, be a little bit harder to prime than uh, most of the other guns are. Uh, now for the pros and cons of this gun. First off, the pros. Uh, this gun has a really nice holster. It's the first gun to come with a holster, which I think is really cool, uh, especially like if you want to do a quick draw or uh, say, you know, a little quick draw battle you can do. You can pull it out really fast with the holster because it's really easy to slide out. It also has a lot more ammo than, or it can hold a lot more ammo than a normal pistol would, even though you have to prime it every time. Uh, you can have a lot in the holster and the gun itself. Um, for the cons of this gun, uh, it's kind of hard to prime compared to some guns. I mean, it's not a big difference, uh, but it's a little bit more, it just really feels like you're restricted and it doesn't allow you to pull it back very easy. Another part about this gun is that the range and accuracy is not the best, uh, even though it is still a really good gun though. I really like this gun. So now let's go outside and get to the shooting test. So now let's do the range. So for the effective range of this gun, there was one dart that was really weak, it went about 11 feet, and one that I aimed up just a little bit and it went a lot farther, about 53 feet. The rest averaged around about 30 feet. So the effective range of this gun is probably around 25. Thanks for watching Nerf Soakman Reviews, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to check out the new episode.